whatever day you're watching. Hope everyone is well. I've got on my cat shirt today. This is, this is probably one of the last things I bought from Timu for Halloween. Car, get on your side of the road. <laughs> and, um, I'm gonna wear it. I'm gonna wear it. I know some of y'all may say, what is that 63 year old woman doing with that shirt on? She looks so silly. Well, you know what I say to them? I won't say it. <laughs> but you can imagine what I say to myself. I don't say it out loud, but I say it to myself. I wear what I want, when I want, and if somebody don't like it, just turn around and walk off. I just sometimes like to be silly, even at my age, almost 64, just a few short weeks away. All right, so today we've got the trim mood box to open. I have already opened it and I am wearing something now from it. I'm wearing the lipstick. It's a lip cream from Sigma Beauty. I have never had any makeup from Sigma Beauty. You know, it's one of those that I see and I feel like it's probably hyped up. And so I just don't ever buy it. I mean, I've, I have their brushes and I love their brushes, but I just, I don't know. I just never have bought any of the makeup. It seems like I got a lip liner, not a lip liner, eyeliner or something one time. And I think it was just okay, but nothing great. But now this lip cream is good. You know, I'm not gonna say it's one of the best. I mean, I'm gonna say it's, I said I'm not gonna say, but I am gonna say, cause I know this is probably hyping it up too much, but it's one of the better lip products I've tried in a long, long time that is kind of your lips, but better. Now, I, I did line my lips with uh, the Buxom liner, and I can't remember what it's called. I'll have to put it below. Anyway, I can't, this, I think it's New Mod. That's what it is. I started to say I couldn't tell, but it's on the box, New Mod. And it's what I'm wearing now. And they, it is very comfortable. Now it will not dry down. So if that bothers you, just know that. So it's one of those, it feels bomb like, but it's, you know, it's matte, but it's not a dry, it doesn't dry down. And that's why I say it's a cream. And you could also use this as a blush, I would think. But I'm gonna swatch it on my arm so you can see it better. Cause it's kind of colored my lips. So that's why you don't really see it really standing out but that's what it looks like that's what it looks like so that's the first thing now this box was $48 plus tax no shipping this box is all full-size products it is worth every penny because I believe these are like 20 bucks maybe the palette that is in here is $55, I think, if I looked right, saw it right. And the box is only $48. So that should tell you something. And we'll get to the palette last. Because it, it's going I'm gonna need to be stopped. Okay, this is the April Skin Artissima. Art, I don't know how to say it. Artis, Artissima. And I probably couldn't say it even if I knew because, you know, my, my mouth and tongue just don't move certain ways. Um, I'm not gonna get into that though, but anyway, this is an Essence Toner and I look forward to trying this because I love me a good Essence Toner. I've got several that I rotate. It's a weakness, but you know, I have several weaknesses when it comes to skincare. All right, one other thing we'll get out of the way before I stop is, this is the Trend Mood Brush Cleaner. I guess it's a collab she did with somebody. And it's purple because her, you know, her, sig 
hurt. I don't know what I want to say. Her color is purple. She likes purple. So that's what this is. And I'll open it in just a second. I figure one day somebody's going to say something about me parking up here. But until they do, I'm parking here because like yesterday, I had to run home real quick. You just never know. And I'm going to have to run home. So let's open this up real quick. There's no scent, but that's what it looks like. So it's a brush cleaner. So I look forward to trying that. It says trust, trusted marshmallow is supposed to be the scent, but I don't smell anything. All right. Now, one of these things I'm going to try in just a minute. Okay. When I first saw this, I thought this was BK Beauty, but their, their packaging is very similar. This is M Cosmetics Soft Blur Velvet Lip Liner in Bunny. Now, this looks like it would match the lip cream perfect, but I didn't, you know, I just didn't try it. I'm going to get that stuff all over me here in a minute if I don't wipe it off. So, there's the lip liner. And, of course, it's, you know, roll out, not sharpen. Some of those I like and some of them I prefer sharpening. It just depends on the point. Somewhere I've got to wipe this off. Or else I'll have it all over me. All right. Now, let's get all this stuff out. Okay, the next thing I have here is the Bondi Boost Miracle Hair Mask. Now, of course, Bondi Boost come out as just first being tanning products. So, this is the first hair thing I've ever had from them. I don't think I like the scent, though. It almost smells like a perm. <laughs> so I don't know about that. I like my hair mask to smell good. I'm sure there's coconut oil in it, but just, I guess I'm saying that, yeah, there it is. Because it's white. Anyway, I don't, I'm not a fan of the scent. I'm just going to put it out there. I'm not a fan of the scent. Maybe it'll have to grow on me. Okay. Another anti-chaff stick. Chafe stick. And I guess this is not full size. I don't know what size they come in. Um, this may be the size they come in, but I would hope they would be bigger. But anyway, you know, I'm going to keep this one here at work. But I haven't tried them yet because I've just been trying my... I've been using my last app. Okay, let's go ahead and get out this mascara. This is the KVD new full sleeve tubing mascara. I did not put on any kind of lash primer. I wanted to try it out on its own. Uh, it's a silicone type one. I do like the wand. It kind of looks interesting. It's kind of wet, so I don't know how I feel about that, but well, let's just use this. I got something on my nose. No, it's on the camera. Sorry, it's on my nose, but it's on the cat on the screen. Let me put this mirror down here. I guess because it's wet, I'm afraid I'm going to get it on me. I wish I could dry it off some. I always, I don't do like this like some people do. I, I don't, I don't want to do that. And that's usually what I try to do is just. I'm not seeing anything great about it yet. Maybe it's because I can't see in here. But I'll report back to you when I can get inside and see. But right now, I, I'm not impressed. So, anyway. It's just the way I am. I'm not impressed. Okay, the Anastasia palette that was in here. 
And this is one of the main reasons I got the box because, you know, you got all this other stuff for basically less than what the palette cost. Now this is the Fall Romance palette. Of course, this is the velvet velour type suede, whatever you want to call it, packaging that they use on a lot of their palettes. And this one is kind of a cross between, and she does, or they, whoever, re, package colors. I'll put it that way. And that's why I say that you don't need every one of their palettes. So what might be in here might be in a different palette, you know, and they're just calling it something else. All right. This is, as I said, fall romance. It's, it's pretty, it's a little more warm tone than what I like. There is a cool tone in here. Well, a couple of cool tones, I guess. Three, maybe. <laughs> so, or neutral. But that's what it looks like. I don't want to blind you. That's what it looks like. I'm not going to swatch it. You've seen it. I do like, of course, the crimson. And that's been in a, in a palette before. I really like Midnight. Let's look at Midnight. Let's look at it on my arm. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. I like that as a liner. Yeah, I get it everywhere. <laughs> and see, her shadows tend to be powdery. They also tend to blend away if you're not careful. So you, this is not something you can go in there and just really go to town. Or that's been my experience. I know, of course, I, most of y'all that's watched me for a while remember Jenny. Jenny never liked any of their palettes because she said it was too easy to blend away. So, there's that. So, that's all of that. And let's see if I can get this off. Yeah, see, it don't take much effort to wipe that away. All right, one more thing I want to show you. If I can find it. This is something I bought off Amazon. Oh, you know, I, there again, I was going to do an Amazon video again. And then I thought, no, there's so many people. I'm going to do one later on. Closer to the holidays. I'm sure there'll be another day. But, you know, the stuff I buy off Amazon is stuff I buy all the time. And this, of course, is on probably every, you know, Timu, Shein. I saw where the... Jaduchi girls from Real Housewife of New Jersey has did a collab with them and getting a lot of flack for it. Because you know it, we're not supposed to buy from Shein or Timu. Y'all know that, aren't you? <laughs> aren't you? <laughs> don't, don't you know that? <laughs> Alright. I'm going to get out of that mess. Okay, this is a dupe for, and I'm when I say dupe I mean it looks like it it's in the same packaging. I don't know as far as ingredients. I've not compared them. To the Rare Beauty Liquid Blushes. And does this one have a name? This is, it says it's called Lake Rain Velvet Liquid Blush, which can also be a lipstick. I don't see a color on here. I don't know. Anyway, it comes from Amazon. Same price on here as it is on Timu. It was just on Amazon. It came the next day and that's you know that's another thing that I mean as much as I've ordered from Timu and Shein I never get even if I have paid for fast shipping and I have it always takes three weeks and that I mean that's just unacceptable to me <laughs> I know I'm one of these people who want my stuff the next day but I'm just being real with you if I can get it off Amazon and get it the next day or two days or Walmart in the next couple of days versus those other sites and the price is the same, I'm going to wherever that is. Because when I want something, I want it. I don't want to wait. All right. I've already put this on my hand one time today. And it is what I'm wearing today. Now, you know, liquid blushes... 
I will kind of say for me, they kind of go away because my skin's got so much red in it. But anyway, it was, it was worth a try. I will probably wear it as a lipstick. Now there is a scent to this, it's vanilla. It's vanilla scent. The minute I got it out of the bottle, I could smell it, but that's what it looks like. So if you have real fair skin, that probably would work out well for you as far as a blush. Now I'm gonna just pat it on my lips here. Not bad. I mean, it didn't do much, but because of that other I've got on, but. I do think this is, you know, I, you know, I have that one from Rare Beauty that I paid full price for. I think these are just as good. The Rare Beauty doesn't last on me either. Now, some people claim they last all day. They don't last all day for me. So, you know, I don't know what, what's that all, what that is all about. I'm looking to see some of the ingredients in here. I could actually see them. And I would say they're probably close, but I'm gonna compare them today to Rare Beauties and I'll, I'll let you know if I think they're just as good. Now this one, let's see, because the light is better. Let me look at this uh, Essence. Of course, there's the rice bran oil or extract in here. I'm seeing what else is in here that might come to my attention. Glycerin. Uh, whatever that Artemis, uh, I'm going to have to look that up on how to say it, extract. That's, of course, that's the first ingredient, which is good because that means that it's not so watered down. Some kind of leaf extract. I don't know what that is. So this looks pretty good. Of course, the first thing it says is concept, consult a doctor if redness swelling, inchiness, or other abnormalities occur. <laughs> Let's hope not. But anyway, I'm, I'm excited to try that. And that's about it. The, the hair mask, I'm not so sure about. We'll see. I'll try it this weekend and see what I think. And I hope y'all enjoyed this unboxing. And I do think it's definitely worth $48. I'll work some more with the mascara when I can see better. You know, my lashes are not, I don't have much to work with, but I still like to be able to see. And I mean, I can see them now. So maybe it'll be good after about three or four coats. <laughs> All right. I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all have a great weekend. Love you. Bye. Be kind to someone or be kind to yourself. Have a great day. Bye.